Can't see it. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Okay. It's already going. Well, I only saw the sign now. Is that the one? Yeah, it's on. Right. Hold on, brother. Woo wee! Motherfucker. That got me. Raggedy motherfucker once again. And this shit is ragged. <laughs> Mark of the beast. But that um, you come out here because of that faith you got. And that's why a lot of brothers come out and, and, and stop coming out because they lack faith. Oh, yeah. They got a, 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 a Israelite, especially a so-called nigga. They got to actually physically see something in, the, in their in, in, in front of them. Yep. You know. I gotta have proof. Well, we got plenty of proof, actually. <laughs> we got tons and tons of proof. That's right, that's right. That's but, motherf say. but motherfuckers, unless they see the Lord himself coming out the clouds, then that, that's the only time they're gonna believe. But when the Lord come out the clouds, it's gonna be too late for your ass. <laughs> when he come out of the clouds, he's coming to kill and destroy. Um, here you go, this is Hebrews um, 11 and one. Um, now faith. Is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Not seen, but you do see them in the spirit, actually. You, you can't see them, but you can. I've been having some crazy bugged out dreams lately. You've seen all kind of visions. Um, Romans 8 and 24. Romans 8. I'm sorry. For we know that the whole creation groaneth and travaileth in pain together until now. And not only they, but ourselves also, which have the first fruits of the Spirit. Even. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, because. Yeah, right. Because, like he said, the faith is something you can't see, but you can see, you see it through the Spirit. You can't see the Lord physically. But even in the, what was that, John, the fourth chapter, the Lord said God is a spirit. You know what I'm saying? But we can see the most high. We can see him in his creation. Like I said, the creation travelers. That's right. You, you can see the most high in the creation. You can see him in the plants and the trees. You can see him in the in, in war. You can see him in the news and the prophecies. Even first fruits of the spirit, even we ourselves run within ourselves. Waiting for the adoption to it, the redemption of our body. For we are saved by hope. But hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man seeth, why doth he yet hope for? But if we hope for that we see not, then do we with patience wait for it. Yeah, so you gotta be patient too. Because you got a lot of people that bug out. They won't go start killing people because they ain't patient. Break them bitches. Oh yeah, they correct <laughs> yourself. They think they they well they find out some truth. Oh, that's your boy. They, they, yeah, they'll find out America's the kingdom of Satan. And they'll take up arms and start trying to fight the government. And then they get locked up and go to prison for life. <laughs> Billy tried to shoot his faggot neighbor. Oh yeah, well, like your boy wearing Billy? Oh, we should put that video up, so. I still got that somewhere. I should upload that before I lose it forever. Your boy Billy's out, ain't he? Right. Don't let him come here. They'll bring the FBI with him. They try to give us a bomb. <laughs> yeah. You know what you do with Billy? Yeah. yeah. He, he heard us teaching one day. Flipped. And he went and flipped out and started shooting up a faggot's house. And we clearly told him, don't fucking shoot me. We already knew he's a gun nut. We told this motherfucker, like, look. You ain't supposed to be getting carnal. You're supposed to be uh, killing people and shooting yeah, people. When we were leaving that day, I still remember. Him. I clearly that. told him. He was asking me some carnal ass questions. Yeah, because he's one of the people who always got guns, playing with guns. You know what I mean? He was talking about making bombs when yeah, we were making line. bombs and shit. We ain't, we ain't down with that shit. Yeah, we ain't. We, that's carnally minded. That ain't got nothing to do with the spirit. 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we, had, we essentially cursed his ass out for that. Yeah, you got more to that, you might as well read the rest of that. Oh, well, read what, what you got. Whatever the spirit brings out. 14 to 23. I'm gonna go back to that though. And he that doubteth is damned if he eat, because he eateth not of faith. For whatsoever is not of faith is sin. Whatever is not as faith is sin. Oh, you know, I got I got something to back you up on that. Uh, what was that Matthew 23? Hold on, let me find that. Because the Lord cursed out the scribes and Pharisees because they didn't have no faith. They was all about the law. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Yeah, I got it. Hey, let me read this real quick. It, uh. Yo, this is uh, Matthew uh, 23 and 23. It says, Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye pay tithe and mint and anise and coming, and have omitted the weightier matters of the law, judgment, mercy, and faith. These ought ye to have done, and not to leave the other undone. Ye blind guides which strain at a gnat and swallow a camel. <laughs> oh, that goes like your boy, uh, that Nathaniel guy. With it. You get on YouTube, there's this channel called Israel United in Christ. A bunch of clowns dressed up in purple. All right? And they amended, the, they always talk about the law, and they make fun of the apostles of GMS because they're uh, faith-based Israelites. And they'll call us faith-based Israelites like it's a joke. But it says that they, they omitted the weightier matters of the law. So if you want to talk about the law, let's talk about the weightier matters of the law, which is faith. Now, hold on, let me get something else to, uh, I'm a, I got a scripture for Nathaniel in the Israel United in Christ. Because they all about the outward appearance. Okay, they're all, they're carnally minded fools. So I, I just got in an argument when the fools came on one of our pages trying to call me an Edomite. You know what I mean? But I cut his ass up with the scriptures so bad that he sat the fuck down and shut the fuck up. He ain't replied to my comments no more. That's all they do is stop. That's all they can do. Let me find the scripture. Uh, uh, here we go. <laughs> and check this out. This breaks down. Uh, I'm going to keep reading. I'm going to read all of this. Because this is going to break down your boy Nathaniel and the Israel United in Christ perfectly. This is also going to break down that dude from uh, the GOCC. You know the GOCC? Bubble Eyes? Mm -hmm. Stay away from that motherfucker. He's bugged out his goddamn mind. Same with Nathaniel. Nathaniel's evil. He, he's, he's a minister of Satan. Uh, Matthew 23 and 24. Ye blind guides would strain at a net and swallow a camel. <laughs> Woe unto you scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you may clean the outside of the cup and the platter, but within they are full of extortion and excess. You, you get on the Israel United Christ videos, they all about money. First thing you see on their videos, they got links to merchandise where you can, we can buy some fringes or buy a garment. They all about money. Cause we ain't, we don't, we ain't about money. We don't give a fuck about your money. We don't want your money. Okay. Says, thou blind Pharisee, cleans first that which is within the cup and platter, that the outside of them may be clean also. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye are like unto whited sepulchres, which indeed appear beautiful outward, but are within full of dead men's bones and of all uncleanliness. Like, like your boy. Wearing a space helmet, <laughs> yeah, like it. Show the speed racer. Right. Right. So, hold on, hold on a second. Let me finish my point. Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Simeon, Ephraim, Manasseh, Gad. Yeah, one second. Let me finish my point. All right. Uh, Which side are you, Esau? Yeah, that's why you walking away like a big faggot, like a bitch, like a punk ass bitch. What you got you. Saying? He called me Esau. Oh, Where you going, that. faggot? What do you know about that? So he would call me Esau and walk away like a faggot, he was like, like a wolf. He like, read all the 12 charges, he's like, like where you bitch. at, Esau? You know what I'm saying? You call me Esau, that's fighting words, son. I'm ready to punch you in your face. 
all right? But anyway, we go back to this. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye are unto whited sepulchers, which indeed appear beautiful outward. Like when you go to these churches, all the preachers, they appear uh, beautiful outwardly. They got the nice suits. They got their ties, got their Rolexes. If I walk up in there with a beard and wearing my regular clothes, they gonna look at me like I'm stupid. You know what I'm saying? Or people make fun of us because our raggedy garments. You, oh, bring it on, bitch. Yeah, they, you know what I'm saying? Mercedes. Yeah, with their Mercedes, got their uh, they Cadillacs. Black Israelites. No, there ain't no well, such thing. I don't know what the black Israelite is. Yeah, there ain't no such thing as black Israelite. You know what I'm saying, though? Black means You know what death. black is, right? I know what black is, yeah. It depends on what context you mean it as. Well, what, 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 show me the difference where it's a positive thing. A positive? The night sky. The soil and the earth. Is it what? Positive. Yeah, so give me a positive thing. I didn't hear you. The night sky. The soil and the earth. Show me the scripture that say black Hebrew Israelite. Black. I don't know. Any there ain't no scripture like that. Well, it, that Israel, Israel was originally all dark skinned, yes. But in nowhere in the Bible does it say to call yourself a black Hebrew Israelite. That's black and calling yourself black is just like calling yourself a nigger. You know, ne uh, Negro comes is the same as the word necro, which means death. Thank you. And they got the same etymological root. Yeah. You gotta understand why these words, why these labels were put on us as a people. Yep. I thought Negro derived from Moreno. But Moreno, that's a different word. That means brown. But the word Negro... I thought it meant dark skin. Negro means the same thing as negative. N-E-G. Yeah. Negative. Yeah. Necro. Uh, negate. Yeah. You know? Well, the Moreno, that's Latin. You know what I'm saying? Mo Spanish. Well, it goes back to the Latin, though. Because the Spanish is Latin. You know what I'm saying? Because you had the Moors. That was long before the Mexicans and them came about. They called themselves the Moors. Well, other people called them the Moors because they were brown, brown-skinned people. You know what I'm saying? They were they were like my color. Well, right. So they were like so-called Negroes. Actually, darker than some. Yeah. Darker than you. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, this is my first time um, encountering this mentality. I see it all over um, YouTube, and it's like. Sorry, I'm all improper. You caught me in the middle of the man, workout. That's all good. Man, might judge me like that, man. But um, we should stop speaking, though. Oh no, that's that's natural, right? I'm sorry, that's just that's kind of gross. Territory. But uh, so give me something um something positive, you know? Positive. Give me something that'll make me. Man, there ain't nothing positive to talk about. Are right. you on positive? The yeah. Lord's about to destroy America with fire. What? The Lord is about to destroy America with fire. That's positive. You know what I'm saying? How's he gonna do that? He's gonna do it with fire. He gonna, you, you, have, you know, you know, you know, World War III is on the horizon. Yeah. But, um, Russia could about start shooting nukes on America. There's gonna be a wrap. Ain't gonna be no more America. Ain't gonna, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm sorry. My spit's making me sick, man. Yeah. That's kind of gross, bro. Shit, man. That's gross as fuck. All right, well, I'll stop spitting. Thank you, man. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll show you some positivity. So keep the water in anyway. <laughs> so I don't see none of mine. Keep it on. Bantu. 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 Yeah. You said somewhere from Africa. That's the Congo. That's a. Uh, those are tribal people in Africa. Okay. Are you talking about the Israelite spirit, though? Israel? You got an Israelite spirit, though. Tell me how. You got an Israelite spirit. Just through your eyes, the way you act, the way you know, just the way you are. You got to describe what an Israelite means. Well, I can't go into detail. Well, what you know, like that. Israel, Israel think that an you Israelite just not, you just you. not, you're not standing tall. You know what I'm saying? You're not acting. You're behaving the way you act. You know what I'm saying? You're not acting. You're not acting. You're not standing. You're not acting. You're behaving the way you act. It's not of a, you're not, you act like a Hamite. The Israel, yeah, because the Africans are Hamite. The Israel is scattered among all nations. Right. All right, we, Israel everywhere you go. There's, a, there's all kind of Israelites up in the Congo, even though... A lot of people don't come from the Congo. Well, the Bantu people... A lot of people come from the mountains. Well, Sub-Saharan Africa, the Bantu people, they speak the Bantu language. Uganda, that's what my father's from. Well, okay, when you go to like the west coast of Africa... East you, coast. Huh? Uganda's on the east coast. Well, I'm just saying, but listen to me. On the west coast of Africa, you had all kind of Israelites living on Ghana, Liberia, okay, northern Africa, 
Plus you had Israelites on the, uh, the east coast of Africa too by Ethiopia, okay, because Right, go ahead, bring it up. This is 2nd uh, Ezra 2 and, uh, and 7. Let them be scattered abroad among the heathen. Let their names be put out of the earth, for they had despised my covenant. The, the Africans are heathen. They're Hamites. Like the Egyptians. So I'm a heathen. No, no. We, we just told, he just told you to use the Israelite. We talking about Africans. The actual, uh, actual Hamites. Like the ancient Egyptians were heathens. Okay? They, they were uh, sorcerers, the wizards. The warlocks. The, 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 Lord, the, the Egyptians, they was not the chosen people of the Lord. Okay, just like some the people down in the Congo. That, that is not the chosen people of the Lord. Because the, the Lord's people is from Israel, not Africa. Africa uh, Africa is not the motherland. Okay, Israel is the motherland. For everybody, the whole earth. These people broke the laws and the commandments, so he scattered us among all the other nations. None of these are mine. I'm not related to anybody on this list. Okay. Well, well, what does it say? It clearly says, and all of our brothers scattered among the, throughout the earth. <laughs> Man, I got to see that, don't you? Also, the Irish, Scottish, and Italian. Because you got, you got people that look like Chinese people to the Israelites. Don't you know Bruce Lee is an Israelite? Bruce Lee. Interesting. I never knew that. Bruce Lee is an Israelite. You got a lot of Israelites scattered in Japan. Okay, you got you got Israelites all over the world in every nation. So what made you guys um, take upon this mentality? What uh, what descended upon you to uh, pick up this? Uh, the Holy intellect? Spirit. The Holy Spirit called upon you. Okay, that's right. The Holy Spirit. Well, you better read. Now hey, bring that out. Ezekiel 11 verse 16. Therefore say, thus says the Lord, although I have cast thee, although I cast them far off among the heathen, and although I have scattered them among the countries, yet will I be to them as a little sanctuary in the countries where they shall come. Right, therefore, therefore say, thus says the Lord, I will even gather you from the people and assemble you out of the countries where you have been scattered, and I will give you the land of Israel. Yeah, because it says Israel is scattered among all the nations. It said throughout all the nations where the Lord has scattered them. Because Israel is scattered among all nations. That's why you can't judge people on their outwardly appearance. Or where they're from. Or where they're from. You can't judge them upon, yeah, what language they speak, where they're from, what they look like. You got to judge by the spirit. Everything we do is spiritual. Where do you guys meet up at? Right here. We're, met, we're meeting right now. I mean, like, we in church. Your... This is our church right here. Gathering place. The Lord said, whenever two or three gathered uh, together in my name, I'm there in the midst of them. I'm trying to figure out so, like, I can just come gain more knowledge. Like, we're, we're right here. here. We out here every week, man. Yeah, we out here right now. Every week. Out here every week, right here. Every week, right here. Right here. Every week the same time. But you got a phone, you can look us up on Twitter, Kings of the Earth. We got innumerable videos that you can watch. Yeah. You know what I mean? Multitudes and multitudes. All right. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. That's doing that work. That's putting that work. All right. That's so like I can crime. find you we guys here like every, what's today, Thursday? Nah, we don't know. We don't know. All we know is Lord we're here. Willing. Lord willing, we, we're here right now. We don't know what tomorrow holds. You know what I'm saying? Well, that, uh, all chaos can break out tomorrow. You yeah. know? You don't know what's... We out here right now. The Lord said, the Lord said, give no thought for tomorrow, because that's evil. That's in the gospel. You know what I'm saying? He said, when you when you planning, God talk, I'm a next week, we're going to that concert. Yeah, yeah. You don't know that. You know what I mean? Here you go. Let me read this real quick before you leave. This is Luke uh, 14 and 21. So that the Lord came. It showed his Lord. You um, let me ask you this first. You, do you read the Bible? I used to. You used to, but do you believe in the Bible though? Like, no. You don't? Oh, we waste some time with you then. But How then again, I'm gonna give it to you anyway. I'm gonna give it to you anyway. Because you, you never know, you might. Because you said you don't. What did you just say? What? Did you hear what you just said? I did. I don't believe in the Bible. Okay then. But I'm gonna read, I'm gonna read it to, give it to you anyway, you know? So you already lost faith in me. No, I don't have faith in you at all. <laughs> I got faith in the Lord. Yeah. But I don't got faith in you at all. You're all a right. man. Yep. You're just a man. The Bible okay. said there's, there's no man that is good. Okay, 
Okay, so that the servant came and showed his Lord these things. Then the master of the house being angry said to his servant, go out quickly into the streets and lanes of the city and bring in hither the poor and the maimed and the hawk and the blind. That's why we out here, you know, out here same time unless the Lord changes you, you know. So can you decide for that? What, like, We're what working in the street. The Lord has commanded us to come to the streets. Street. Not go to some building or some temple, you know and put on a show, a concert, with a band behind you just playing like shit. <laughs> you know? Getting there getting money. And I'm on the pulpit behind the pulpit checking out all the women. Just giving, a, giving an inspirational speech. Just snipped a couple of lines. Alright, right. right, I'm gonna continue my run home, alright? Good luck with your gospel. Ooh here, 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 here. And do is a tear. He, he might have been, he might be from Uganda and shit. Yeah, he's definitely from here. Yeah, he, he, he hanging out with East Oil or something. Yeah, he sound like East Oil to me. It's a weirdo. That little faggot that came up here before him, that little bitch, his little ass called me East Oil and scurried off, right, right. ran down the street. <laughs> I'm ready to punch that motherfucker, man. Yeah, look at that whole puddle of spit oh, over there. That's oh. disgusting, man. Nasty mother, that's a, that's spiritual. The, the, the Lord like it hit him onto a onto spittle. Big tall bitch over there. Man, that he just he, that's like he just threw a come over here and just threw a foul spirit at us, man. I'm sure the hell did. He fuck us up when we in the middle of scriptures and shit. Where is he from? West Africa. He said he's from Uganda. He said he Bantu. You can take that Bantu shit and shove it up your ass. Some man. hoodoo. Yes, hoodoo, hoodoo. I'm gonna get back to that Matthew. I want to finish that. There's a lot of Muslims down there. Let me read this again. Uh, Matthew 23 and 28. Because I want to talk some more shit about uh, Nathaniel, the Israel united in Christ. Bubble Eye Blackfish, GOCC. Uh, even Comfy's clowns, they wear ninja suits. You know what I'm saying? They all they all about their outward appearance. Then everybody makes fun of us because our garments are raggedy. You know what I mean? Matthew 23 and 28. Even so ye also outwardly appear righteous unto men, but within ye are full of hypocrisy and iniquity. That breaks down all these fake ass preachers in your churches. Israelites. <laughs> Yo, Israelites. They don't hear that. Too bad you've been marked anyway. <laughs> That's what's funny. <laughs> Go ahead, man. Yeah, that's all right. And that's the point. That's just the point I wanted to make right here. Yeah, you got a lot of fools. All they care about is that outward appearance. You know oh, what I mean? Shit, yeah. If you don't look good and smell good and dress nice, you're not a man of the Lord. That's why a lot of people, oh yeah, that's James, what, uh, two? Uh, I'm not even sure. I think it's two. So it's definitely James. Yeah, like that dude Nathaniel. What, what, a lot of people are attracted to Nathaniel because they all got the, they, they all look good on their outward appearance, but on the inside they put with dead man's bones. Just like your boy that got shot. It was, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's some bones for you. What did that? What did that members got shot? Killed himself. Suicide by a cop. That's great. This is a video. That shit fucked up. But them dudes are a big joke, man. Like I always got his people coming in our videos talking shit. They don't know the scriptures. They're just a bunch of dumbasses. They got they got all got a foul spirit on them. They really do. They really do. Like it's almost as if it's, it's actually is a heathen spirit. Yeah, they, he probably got actual hand mics in his camp. You know what I mean? Because yep, yep. all he cares about, if you black, you good. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Especially if you paint them tight. Especially if you paint them tight. You got them tights, boy, you an Israelite. <laughs> boy, you the fuck you in. Yeah. Came through the back door. This is a fucking asshole, man. Right. Uh, James 2, 1. My brother, have not, has not the faith of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of glory, which respects a person. For if there come unto your assembly 
a man with a gold ring. A gold ring, like them preachers. Uh, oh, your boy Nathaniel, he always got them armbands and uh, he got the nice looking glasses. He's always trying to look smooth, man. Look, the most high ain't look at shit. Keep on. A gold ring is goodly apparel. A goodly apparel. Everybody got the same shirts. And then, where the fuck in the Bible say you gotta wear a uniform? But that's like going to East, working for Esau, getting a job, you gotta wear a uniform. All right. You know what I'm saying? But then on top of that, when you watch the videos on YouTube, they're always trying to sell you something. They're making merchandise out of you. What did Danny say? That's organized. They're organized. Oh, yeah, he wanted to get with Peraza <laughs> because he was organized. <laughs> they had nicer garments. Yeah, yeah. We're, ra we're raggedy. I'm poor as fuck. I ain't got no money. Yeah, they had a little temple to hang out at. Yeah, they got a building. Cadillacs driving around Lexus with BMW Cadillacs. Yeah. All the motherfuckers was paid. Man. It was all strapped. All of them. Yeah, some, all some nice, them, them yeah. pistols they had cost money. Yeah. They all had carry concealed well, permits. They they, yeah, that's right. They said they go out. Strapped. They go out teaching strapped. Where the fuck they do that at? Right. Going out teaching strapped. That, that's some faith for you. <laughs> that's like the Pope riding around in his Pope mobile with, <laughs> with bulletproof glass. Right. Should be thick as hell. Yeah. Well, the new Pope don't do it. He got more balls than the other ones. <laughs> Because yeah. the Pope, no, everybody done lost faith in his ass. So he now he got, oh, I can't. They see me in that Pope mobile. They gonna know I'm full of shit. So, <laughs> so even the, even the Pope, the devil, he got more faith than uh, the Horizons people. <laughs> damn, God damn. <laughs> in goodly apparel. Goodly apparel. That's Nathaniel. If that ain't Nathaniel, who is it? And same with Bubble Eyes, the GOCC. They all wearing white garments like they righteous. They're dressing all nice. Now, they never cuss either. They always speak in perfect English. A bunch of clowns. Cult leaders. Keep going. And there comes in also a poor man in vile raiment. Yeah, like us. They make fun of my potato sack. Like, yeah, he looks like a bum. They call us bummelites. Y'all look like bums. How, how could you claim to be teaching the Bible, making fun of people because they're wearing messed up clothes? The spirit of them up so bad they have nothing else to do. I mean, don't, have you ever read that scripture before? Stupid no, ass. Y'all no, 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 no. gotta be fucking stupid. Oh, oh, the Lord is all he talks about is blessed be the poor. The Bible is always talking about the poor man. Don't curse the poor. <laughs> Fucking dumb, you fucking clowns, man. You going? Yeah. And there come in also a poor man in vile raiment, and ye have respect to him that weareth the gay clothing. Right, like Nathaniel, like the, like Joe Osteen, like uh. Gay clothing, for example. Gay means uh like uh, pleasant. You look nice. Oh yeah, he, he's gay and wearing gay clothing. <laughs> 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 And say unto him, sit thou here in a good place, and thou say to the poor, stand thou there, or sit here under my footstool. Are you not fine? Are you fine? All they care about is controlling people, controlling your money. That's all they care about. Everything's about control. All these cult leaders are all about controlling you. That's why that's why Vice News went made a fool of Nathaniel. I be liking some vice too. I be watching all them documentaries. You made a straight up fool out of it. He clown on your ass, man. It's because if, if the Lord is with you, you ain't gonna get clown on. You gonna be doing the clowning. You know what I'm saying? You ever seen us get clowned on? Hell no. 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 Hey, they no, they no. We the one doing the clowning, okay? We will embarrass you. You will not embarrass us. It ain't gonna happen. That's because we coming in the name of the Lord. Uh, keep going. You got more to that. And ye not then partial in yourselves and are become judges of evil thoughts? They partial. He a judge of evil thoughts. Nathaniel's a judge of evil thoughts. 
And the reason I'm talking about Nathaniel is because I had some of his clowns on our video this week talking all kind of shit. Well, Saying I'm Esau. Esau. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, I got a scripture to back that up, what you was reading. Talking about the prophets. Okay, let me, let me yeah, go ahead. Right now. Yeah, go, go ahead. Go. Um, this is uh, Ecclesiastes and Apocrypha uh, 10, and I'm going to start at uh, what, 23. It is not meet to despise the poor man that hath understanding, neither is it convenient to ma magnify a sinful man. Nate. Yeah, magnifies the kid. Him and his goddamn zombie followers and shit. They'll defend that clown to the, to, you know, to the death, man. They magnify it. Man. It's like it's all ran into one of the couple of zombies that they, that they want to fight. They're trying to pretty much rip, rip Nate Satan out. Looking like fucking fools, man. Looking at the man. Having faith and trust in the man. Yeah, that ain't no different than Jim Jones. Faithless man. Your yeah. boy, your boy Nathaniel, like the black Jim Jones. <laughs> yeah. Maybe he'd have y'all, he'd tell y'all to commit suicide because the devil was about to get you. You would all do it. Ooh, that's nice week. I'll right, go ahead. Um, great men and judges and penitents shall be honored. Yet is there none of them greater than he that feareth the Lord? Unto the servant that is wise shall they that are free do service, and he that have knowledge will not grudge when he is reformed. Um, that's it. Alright, I got a scripture to back you up on uh, appearance. You know, that's supposed to judge the outward appearance. I got a scripture in apocrypha to, uh, for that too. Just hold, uh, Let me get this first though. Uh, Hebrews uh, this is talking about the prophets. You should read the whole 11th chapter of Hebrews. This is Hebrews 11 and 36. And others, this is talking about the prophets. And others had had trial of cruel mockings and scourgings, yea, moreover, of bonds and imprisonment. They were stoned, they were sawn asunder, they were tempted, were slain with the sword, they wandered about in sheepskins and goatskins, being destitute, afflicted, and tormented. So the Bible said the prophets walked around sheepskins and goatskins. So they wasn't wearing nice suits with ties and Rolex watches. Okay. They weren't looking smooth and fly. What's up, man? You got questions, man? You got questions about America's downfall? America's going straight down the toilet. You Are you know curious about this nation being destroyed by thermonuclear missiles? By them all. Um... Yeah, that fire's coming. Yeah, that fire's coming, bro. Have you heard? Have you heard? Didn't the Lord say, who can quench it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. These are actually good days we're living in. Very oh, good. ain't nothing but hell going on and all kind of chaos and division. These are actually good days. When you can see the end, when you can see your master, your slave master going down, that's a beautiful sight. No. I got a scripture to back up what we was talking about. It's Ecclesiastes 11 and 1. Wisdom lift up the head of him that is of a low degree. So we have a low degree. We in a low state out here. We're all poor. We ain't got shit. You know what I mean? Dang. Yeah, we're angry. Wisdom lifted up the head of him that is of a low degree and maketh him to sit among great men. Commend not a man for his beauty, neither abhor a man for his outward appearance. Don't tell no women that. Because a woman they straight up or some calm ass motherfucker. Oh, just like that dude. Oh, he cute. Just like that dude trying to call me an Edomite, just right, based right. on my appearance. Like There's Anderson Cooper. 
None spirits about the food. <laughs> come. So yeah, I mean that's kind of what. It Nuts is. and spirits. Those are Edomites right there. Yeah, right. Those are Edomites. Well, you can right. tell by the spirit. Hey, Esau. Right. That's why I punked that dude. He got punked. Took off. Dude. No, I was ready to fight. Sure. I'm ready. You don't call me Edomite. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna fight you. Okay. That's fighting words. That's like calling someone a faggot or a bitch. You know, it's the same thing. Because Esau is a faggot and a bitch. A child molester. So you can't call me Esau. That's like fighting words, you know what I'm saying? It ran off like a little bitch. Plus, uh, uh, Nathaniel's people, some of Nathaniel's people was on our YouTube channel saying that same shit. Every, everybody we deal with, they all take off running. When the scriptures come out, they talk talking about they know the scriptures. Anybody that date, debates with us, they take off running like scared little bitches. Even that faggot last week, instead of waiting for the bus, he called and got out here Yeah, quick. he called his bitch and got the fuck up out of there. He's like, I can't take this too much longer. Get out of here. Because he said he best seen us out here. Oh, no. We do um we were, um, that same faggot was downtown that one day. The last time was in the, the time was in front of the state house. Yeah. Remember he was in a suit that day with some with the white guy. Was he? Yeah. That, that guy was right him. there. Yeah, that was that same guy. Wow. The same guy. And we kept we kept on the same scripture that uh, John eight and forty four. You are of your father the devil. <laughs> the same scripture. That oh really? Spirit. That was the oh. spirit working, man. It was the spirit working. Man. That, that is the spirit. That's the spirit. Man. Let me read this again. The most high hates this motherfucker. Okay, yeah, you know, the most high hates more than anything is a carnally minded fool. Somebody's always thinking carnally. They want to judge you by your appearance. Oh, you wearing a potato sack. Y'all are some raggedy motherfuckers. Y'all ain't got money like me. The most high hates that, man. Let me read this real quick. Uh, Commend not a man for his beauty, neither abhor a man for his outward appearance. The bee is little among such as fly, but her fruit. Oh, what's up, homie? But her fruit is the chief among sweet things. Hey, here go another one, your boy Nathaniel again. Listen to this. Boast not of thy clothing and raiment. Like, I got some fringes for sale. Y'all, y'all wanna buy some fringes? Yeah. I got, I got, I'll give you 20% off. Yeah, I got Kroger card. Yeah, you got, card. <laughs> <laughs> you got the discount. <laughs> right, right. Oh shit! They really doing that too, man. Yeah. Some and plus, Jake's always like they help. I remember back when I was in uh, school, back in uh, elementary school, high school. Don't go to school and wear no generic shoes. Everybody make fun of your ass. You, you got that shit at JJ giveaway. giveaway. Yeah, you got some JJ giveaway charity newsies. <laughs> yeah, you bring that JJ giveaway shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. JJ giveaway. I'm so nice and hot, man. Look at the dirty. I hit you, dude. That's how you silence them. I was a bum. I wore all kind of racket shit in school. Nobody said you had a damn thing. Never. But they knew better. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I just wanted to look at them. That tells you. But that tells you how these children are a bunch of animals. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They weren't brought up the right way. You ain't supposed to make somebody make fun of someone because they low state. Yeah. So we went, especially in the hood, man. Yeah. Uh, make, Love clowning on somebody grow the fuck, man. Boy. Yeah, I guess like they, they can't control that child or young adult can't, young kid can't control that. Cause their man. mom's probably a goddamn crackhead. Mm -hmm. Dad ain't nowhere to be found. Right. You don't know who the fuck his dad is. More than likely, that's where the next one come out out of anyway. <laughs> yeah, right. The rag, the low motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. The low. Let me read the rest of this. Okay. Boast not of thy clothing and raiment, and exalt not thyself in the day of honor, for the works of the Lord are wonderful. And his works among men are hidden. Oh, that goes back to faith. Okay. Yep. Works are hidden. Things you can see and can't see. Right? Yep. I'm gonna read that again. Uh, whatever you want. Okay. Wearing a pink shirt. Good. Pink alert. <laughs> now, you know we read that scripture. Someone's wearing a pink shirt. You, you can't clown on them. Because <laughs> that's gay. Yeah. That, that's, uh, that's only something yeah. a homosexual would do. Yeah, some shit is just unacceptable. Yeah, something like that. Now that's something totally different. Cause he probably got butt plugs in too. Yeah, 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 he probably paid a lot of money for that pink shirt too. Oh, instead of going back to the cat, let me read this one. Let me read this one. <laughs>